transfer, you may hear beeps. If your call is accidentally disconnected, please call back to 988 and do not press 1. Please stay on the line as your call is transferred to the next available VCL responder. Hey, Phyllis, my name is Mark Hensley. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Mark? I am fucked. And would you please refer to me as AJ? Yeah, sure, AJ. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, listen. Um, You're very welcome. I, uh, I, I uh, lately have been watching back the videos that, you know, prior to posting them on YouTube. And uh, I'm in the thick of some pretty, 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 pretty serious shit. And um, I just want your organization to know that uh there's been a fair number of calls that i've had with with your organization that i've posted onto youtube okay so uh if you have a supervisor will you please tell them that uh, there's many different encounters that i've had with you know your, your different therapists or whatever you guys are and that's on my youtube channel Okay, the name of the channel is Calamity Pains. C A L A M I T Y P A I N S. Two words, Calamity and Pains. Cuz fuck does it hurt. Fuck does it hurt. Okay. Rock on. Rock on. All righty, ma'am. Oh, no, 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 no. Very rarely do I have a bad experience, right? You guys are amazing. Oh, okay. You, yeah, you you guys are absolutely amazing. Fuck you, I apologize. Uh, no, I just talked to somebody today, though, that uh, I guess you guys don't hang up on people. You just put them on hold and then a new, new uh, you know, counselor answers. That pissed me off. I don't know why she'd put me on hold. It was ridiculous. Uh, that should be reviewed by her supervisor. And I told... Uh, the next lady that answered the phone that I wanted to make a complaint. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm not sure about that at all. I haven't done that, so I'm not. No, no, I, I, I don't know how that works. Um, are you talking about the, yeah. the call rejection? Yeah, we, we were what? What do you think? Like 10 minutes into that? Maybe 15? Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then she did this call rejection thing. And, you know, she didn't, it wasn't even a warm handoff. So I didn't know that, but I sort of knew at that point that I'm just getting a whole new fucking human being that I have to try to explain fucking everything else to again. Right. Which is frustrating. Yeah, because if I was suicidal, I fucking would have killed myself during the hold period. Yeah, tell her no. fucking supervisor that. Okay. Yeah, I'll pass that along too. I'm sorry about that. No, hey, don't don't apologize to me. I mean, think about all the other veterans you're fucking. I'm just homicidal. I would never fucking kill myself. Are you homicidal right now? Fuck yeah, that's why I've been calling. I just did a safety plan, so we're good. Okay. Yeah. Where does that safety plan, do you feel like it helped? No, nothing's going to help. So what I'm saying is we, we agreed to a safety plan. And it was the damnedest thing. Uh -huh. You know, I, I put it on my YouTube channel. That's why I called back to let you guys know that I put it on my YouTube channel. Because my safety, yeah. my safety plan was to chill out with my drunken Indian, drink a Coors Light, smoke a joint. And uh, listen to music. And uh, that sounds like the American fucking dream. Well, I mean, I, I, I have no obje objections to those things you play. Rock on. So, but yeah, I'll definitely pass that along. Thank you, ma'am. No, and you're very welcome, AJ. And I, I am glad that you were able to get a safety plan that you're comfortable with. You know, down. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable with autonomy. I'm comfortable just doing what the fuck I want to do responsibly. Yeah, but that's that's not how you guys are trained. So if anybody's fucking honest with you, you jump down their fucking throat. What can I do to get you to put that beer down right now? Nothing. Leave me the fuck alone. Right? Talk to me about whatever has me in crisis, not the fucking beer in my hand. If anything, you can consider that medication and that person self-medicating. Right? If, if they're as drunk as the fucking chief, they just don't say shit, right? They're not going to call you and go, Mwah. if they can carry on a fucking coherent conversation, leave them the fuck alone. You don't have to be in charge. You don't have to take fucking control. These people are in fucking crisis. Yeah. Well, you know, and this is what I tell, you know, the veterans that, you know, if I ask, hey, do you mind not drinking while you're on the call? And they say, no, I'm like, okay, that's completely up to you, you know, everything. But here's 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 what I can tell you. Not all of your counselors show the same degree of respect. And when they don't show respect, right. they're not going to gain the trust of the veteran on the phone. Right. Right. Go ahead and disrespect me and I'll come back even harder at you. I will be telling you that I will kill you and your family dead at the drop of a fucking hat. But that's what I'm saying. So, so at, at this point, you, you need to be a diplomat, always looking to negotiate, not looking to fucking take charge, right? So right. I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm unique, but I'm not particularly special, right? I'm just hypersensitive and hyper alert, and I'm rather articulate, and I can point it out. I want to make a complaint, and I want this. I want your, your fuck you. I apologize, ma'am. I want your um okay. su supervisor. To look at my Calamity Pains channel because uh, this is fucking ridiculous. I will fucking kill somebody and why the fuck would I lie about that? Police, no. police officers, ma'am. Okay. You don't have a good run-in with the police? Oh, I have lots of run-ins with the police. Uh, the last couple have been pretty good. Okay. It, it's just your trigger point? Yeah, I'm fucking triggered as shit because they fucking arrested my drunken Indian yesterday and I just fucking got him back. Yes, ma'am. Because so, it sounds like, you know, especially since that's part of your safety plan. Fucking A. You know, I'm glad you got that support back. No, uh, no, uh, I'm, I'm afraid I'm Chief Swaying Totem's support. Here. What was that? Uh, he has many Native American names. Uh, one is Chief Swaying okay. Totem. Uh, another oh. is... Uh, G gulping golden swallow chief a few words okay. i i have many derogatory terms that i use for my native american brother yeah but we're talking about one person right Not, uh, yes ma'am different native yes american okay no no this, this is all the same man he has so many different characters and qualities that uh i just show him you know, different respect is I disparage him with stereotypes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, it sounds like y'all have a pretty good friendship. Yeah. Uh, I would kill sure. for him and he would do the same for me. He gives it right back to you. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Well, hell yes, I've known him for six days. The difference is... You've known him for six days? Six days. But the difference is uh, we took an oath together. Yeah. Yeah. And if he violates that oath, I'll kill him. Okay. Would he do the same if you violate the oath? 
Do we have any terms on that? Any any reasons that you would kill me? No. Uh, we don't have any terms on that right now. I'm I'm willing to to, oh. to consent to negotiations. Okay. I was just wondering if it went both ways. That's all. I I personally don't do that. Do you go both ways? No, I don't. No, we're both yeah. heterosexual, ma'am. <laughs> I would I I would never ask somebody to do something that I wouldn't do myself. My drunken Indian just okay. got fucking uh, pinched for trying to steal camping supplies. Now what I can tell you is he's a proud noble chief and uh, he got away with probably about th well he's he's getting ready to go on trial so we're not going to discuss his prior stop it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, you fuck you. I'm sorry, ma'am. But anyway, uh, he's going to be rep representing himself, and I'm going to try my damnedest to be legal counsel so I can have a seat at the fucking table. And uh, between uh, his Native American perspective and uh, my, uh, you know, veteran perspective, both of us being refugees in our own land, uh, I am going to fucking chastise the shit out of the court. How dare they bring me up under charges, right? This was his fucking land, and you stole it, and I'm a fucking veteran, and I defended it, and now we have to fucking just steal to exist because you guys keep on fucking with us? I will kill you and kill you dead, bitch! Okay. I need to scale that back a little. Uh, I do. I, I, I am. Like, I, I've threatened to kill him, I think, three times in court now. Yes, ma'am. But if you notice, I came down just as quick. You did. You did. That's impressive. Thank you. Uh, I I uh, okay. say I say that, that it's rather mercurial, but uh, people are only of the impression of mercurial being that you shot up real quick. It can come down just as fast, ma'am. Ma'am, I am the expert of it. Huh. That's interesting. So, um, because when we're self-escalated, you know, we normally don't make the, the greatest choices, but it sounds like you're able to bring yourself back down and self-regulate before you act on, you know, impulsive behavior. So I still scare the shit out of everybody. See, the thing is, I, I go I go up real quick, right? And then I come down, and I'm level-headed. They go up, right? And they can't come down, so they're all fucking erratic, and they're usually police officers, so they hit me. Yeah. Ooh. You know what happens after they hit you? Um, either you're trying to defend yourself back, or you get detained. No, they, well, yes, ma'am, thank you. They they detain you, and then uh, they come up with justification as to why they hit you. They lie on the probable cause statement, and because uh, they, they're a sworn officer, the judge accepts it as probable cause, and I go to jail, right? And then when I get ready to go to trial, because the prosecution drags it out forever, they drop the charges the day of trial. Last week, the fucking officer didn't even show up, right? So they dropped the fucking charges. That's on my YouTube channel. Do you think I'm kidding about killing a cop? Why would I lie about that? No, I don't, I don't think you're lying. I'm just saying it's fucking live, right? Tell your boss to fucking watch yeah. it. Because somebody better fucking intercede in a meaningful manner, or otherwise, I'm gonna get my Indian so fucking drunk and send him in with a fucking knife. Okay. Just saying, he'll probably okay. fall on his own fucking knife, but otherwise, he's gonna kill somebody. Uh, I am currently on a firing range, but nobody is here. But I've gone up and talked to about 12 people that were firing off rifles and pistols today. Okay. But do you have one in your possession? Like no, ma'am. I just have a pocket okay, knife, and the chief has a pocket knife.
I've just been telling everybody, right? Here's the deal. You know, for the last eight years, I'm nothing but fucking honest. And the cops say that I'm the liars, but the cops are the liars, right? And now it's to the point that I really will fucking kill them. Uh, I've been honest all the way up. So I have video recordings of, you know, the degree of escalation. But right now I can honestly tell you, I do not know what I'm capable of, but uh, I am planning to go get some AR-15s with uh, Shy. Uh, uh, I think, do you remember July? What was the court date? Uh, you said July 14th. I don't think it's July 14th. I think it's July 20 something. Right. We're going to go down to Arizona and get some AR AR-15s. Fuck you. I'll kill you. I'm sorry, ma'am. Not really. Do you, do you mind if I ask, like, do you have, do you have tourists? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, well, you don't have to apologize every time. No, but what I say like, with that is you be you and let me be me. It, it's that, that apology, I've been doing that so long that it's almost part of the Tourette's. What I want to try to change it to, and I'm not doing well, is I want to say condolences versus I apologize. Condolences? Yeah, because... That's no, condolences? No. I apologize. It's the same. No, it's 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 the, the, it's the same amount of syllables, isn't it? I, well, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, it's not the first. Hey, listen. You, do, do you know how? No, and I'm not. I'm not sorry for fucking doing it, right? I can't help it, so I don't yeah. want to fucking apologize. Right. So you know, condolences. Right, I'm I'm sorry that this is happening. Yeah. It's sort of like when somebody says "excuse me" when they sneeze. Yeah, I, that's true. Yeah, I know. Well, uh, if you want to try on this call, when you have a sick, you do not have to apologize. No, I get that. I get that. As I said, you be you, I'll be me. I'm worked up, so as I you know calm down, right? I, I'm not going to stay this hyper fucking vigilant, right? But I, I'm I'm here right now. Why would I lie about that? But you know, I, I'm I'm hoping when I get paid on the twenty fourth that things mellow the fuck out. They pulled me over yesterday with my fucking drunken Indian, detained us for a half an hour on suspicion of trying to rob Bank of America. Wait, you were suspicions? Yes, ma'am. The, the, yeah, well, the lady of Bank of America called, called, called the cops and said I tried to rob them. Oh. That's a lot? Yes, ma'am. I record everything and put it on YouTube. Fucking people are liars, yeah. especially people in positions of authority, right? So I, I, I've i just been shadow you know, recording. I, I haven't been letting them know that I'm recording them. You know, I, I can prove, you know, how fucking incompetent all these people are and how they abuse their fucking authority. I I, I tried to fucking rob the bank. They've been holding on to $12,000 of mine for over a fucking week now. And they fucking had Shy arrested yesterday because he, he was stealing some shit that we needed just to get by. Fuck that bitch. I'm not trying to rob the bank. I'd rather go back and fucking take her out. Okay. But we're not gonna do that, right? No, no. And I'm being flippant. I would take her out to coffee. She's a mean bitch, but she's helped me out twice. <laughs> I love the honesty. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, and you guys re really do help me. But please tell tell your uh, supervisor to check out my YouTube channel. Yeah, I will. I will. I will let them know. I'll pass that along. All right, thank you, ma'am. And uh, pass along about uh, being tra like transferred, like a cold transfer, that it wasn't even a warm transfer. Hey, so the thing is, um, I'm highly intelligent, and I've worked in traumatic medicine for 23 years. That's why I'm such a fucking ni yeah. nightmare to you guys, because you know. I, I'm, I'm a veteran, I understand that. I'm a medical worker, I understand that, right? I, I right. 
dude, I understand the roles that everybody's supposed to be playing and they're fucking it up. And what I can tell you is uh, I make people do, you know, I exacerbate people, right? I told you I can go up and come down real quick. They can't, right? Yeah. So they do the dumbest fucking right. things and I record it. And um, I put it on YouTube. I haven't told any about anybody about my channel, so it doesn't matter. I wasn't looking to make buffoons out of individuals. But like Kim Schneiderman, the regional executive director of NAMI, um, she's a fucking buffoon. And what she did to me today was ridiculous, so I just started fucking blasting her, right? Um, that's on my fucking YouTube. Uh, she's not going to be pleased with me when she starts hearing this. But, you know, fuck her. She fucking deserves it. It's absolute fucking bullshit. And she might not say, or might not appreciate the fact that I said that she profits and benefits off the death of children. Uh, she fucking does. And I'm willing to articulate it even better if she wants to discuss it. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I got myself worked um, up. No, oh, no, it's it's all good. As I said, I go up and then I come down, right? So I'm chill. We're still good. We got a positive safety plan. We've enjoyed speaking with each other. You've helped me out, and thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome, AJ. Thank you. You have a wonderful and evening. I, and I'm due. You too. All right. Bye now. Okay.